everybody, that brown bat back in another episode of Bat in the Box. And in this episode of Bat in the Box, or this this uh, series of Bat in the Box, we are going to start building a Death Star. Not the exterior, the the interior. Um, Castletown is not done. Uh, I think we're on episode 8. But, you know what? I kind of needed to change the scenario for a bit. And, uh, well, let's get started. Alright, this is a fresh new toy box. Uh, empty toy box. So, we're going to put a bunch of junk in it. So, let's raise, well, we can't, let's just, uh, come on. Start off with a, some terrain pieces. Um... Let's use flat train block. Bring this about right there. Go down here. Delete this. And move this. The block, where'd they, uh, there we are. This is like the first thing I do in every toy box when I start building. And then just double check, make sure I can go up high. Oh, that's, that's high enough, definitely. Okay, so since we're doing the Death Star, let's, uh, uh, auto-theme, or, uh, set the theme to Imperial Space Station. Space Station. Alright, now, first things first, let's start with the, uh, the Docking Bay entrance. And I'm going to use Simple Toys for the majority of it. And it doesn't matter how I line it up on the base because this base is going to change. I just need something to stand on. Alright, so this is going to be... Let me put one down. And we're going to theme this Plastic 2. Because it's the only white one that's not too glossy. Let's see. One, two, three. So let's put three down like that. And two up. Two. got that. This is the best thing I can think of. Um, and you'll see when it, when it starts panning out. Okay, terrain pieces. Start with the wall. And it's going to be. When I say three high, I'm referring to a terrain cube being one. So one, two, three. Which will be the height of this. 
and it'll also be the width of that, or the, uh, yeah, the length and the, uh, height. It's one by three by three, or three by three by one, however you want to uh, say it. It's uh, the long, tiny, and tall train block, but they're, they're three long by three high. Oops. And you'll see why in a bit. Let's see. over a bit. Go to decorations. Fantasy terrain strip one. I think it's one. Yep. And you want to select the uh, theme Death Star Terrain Strip 1. That there. And actually, you're going to skip, leave enough room for two. Uh, Two of those blocks. That's not what's going to go there. I just, I'm going to put something in there later on. Alright, so. There's that. And then. It's one of these big things. The long, tiny terrain blocks. Yeah. A lot of these I put down, of course, when I build anything, it's for a reference point because I'm going to put a door here and so, you know, so um, it's going to change, but I just need to, um, point of reference. Okay, so then this is going to come out three more, so that makes four, one, one, two, three, so three and one is four. Four from the uh, door. I have this drawn out in graph paper um, pretty much, so that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> Let me see, what's he counting? Where's, where's these numbers? They're on my piece of paper, my cheat sheet. There we go. OK. 
Okay. be beneficial right now to split this up into all small small ones because we got to put a hole in the floor always a tricky part for me anyway there is a part if you go under buildings find the Star Wars stuff designed for what we're doing called they call it the Death Star ship hanger well it's too big way too big for what we're using it for I will use this piece but not for this definitely not for this I use this for an air shaft that works quite nice um, all right so back to terrain pieces Let's see if this is in the right spot. I think so. I mean, as well as can be expected. Seems how the Millennium Falcon is. Oops. <laughs> it's kind of tiny. Alright. And that's okay. That's okay. Now, what we're going to do for the corners 
There's only one way I know of how to get to them. Um, but I'm going to show you. You go to buildings. Under the Death Star, there are some corner pieces. Now, these corner pieces are, are corner lights, which don't match. I looked, looked through some uh, pictures of uh, A New Hope. They don't match. Um, actually, there's nothing that actually does match, but we have something that's more close than this. Now, let me go. Under uh, unfiltered, if you find building, yeah, there's so much stuff under unfiltered. It's like building number five or something like that. Oh, here we go. Group five. Found them. All right, so here's where the Death Star stuff would be and the unfiltered category but it's in this category somewhere the only thing is you have to have toy box takeover to unlock this stuff um, these particular ones right here I'm pretty sure um, also it says it's part of the Nomanesia maybe 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 not maybe you get this from the get-go. I'm not 100% sure because I don't remember. So hopefully you guys have it. Um, or you can just use the Death Star one. But I like these better for this particular... Um, ...thing that we're doing. Oops. Alright, now... And... If you all remember, the shaft is not shallow. It's quite deep. And I'm not making it really deep. I'm not going too crazy on it. At least not yet. <laughs> so we're just going to duplicate sort of... Um, what we did. I'm just going to follow uh, block for block. Are we? Or are we not? You know what? Let me just barricade it with these for now. I'm not a hundred percent sure of what we're going to do for this uh, level underneath because this will be a level underneath. Um, I plan on having it so you can actually explore in all these different areas. Eventually put an elevator. Whoops. Coming up. Okay. We want to make a bridge. Maintenance bridge. Whatever. So take this top layer off. And map here. All right. I don't think I need that like that, so take that out. All right. Um, let me delete this for a second. Well, yeah, delete it for a second. Yeah, like it's gonna pop pop up back. You know. Um, decorations. Give me a door. 
fantasy train too. That doesn't look like a door. Watch this. Theme it to kiln. Turn around. That I think and I hope it'll fit here. I mean I know it'll fit there, but with all the other stuff I'm putting in there, let's I'm I'm hoping this is where it's supposed to go. Um alright, now we need A scalable barrier block. Now, either this will work or a trigger area. And if you've watched any of the uh, Castle Town episodes, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right. So now, bring this back. One there, one there, one there. One, two. And I am stuck in something. I'm stuck in the barrier. All right, I think we're done with the barrier. I can always bring it back if I don't, if I need it to come back. All right. There we have a door. Not sure if I want it to be a tunnel. I don't think I do. We do not want it to be a tunnel. I like that. 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 Bring back our... I was just going to our custom filters and... My favorites. Bring it back. And for now, I'll just use the tall black pieces. We can always fix it later or change it or adjust it later. Okay. Now, how do I have that? I have... Alright, going all the way down to this end. this and go back to decorations in this one we are going to use uh, fantasy terrain corner 2 drop that down theme it death star terrain corner 1 Like so. Alright, then we are going to cap that off on top. Like that. Okay, and for a reference point. something <laughs> the uh, wall is going to be
like this. The reason I, uh, well, I don't like to put two, uh, two of the, uh, tall pieces next to each other, because, well, just, to me, it doesn't look right. Like right here, do I have a choice? Sort of, don't think I have a choice here, but if I can avoid it, I will avoid it. Just because it breaks up the, uh, it makes it more, uh, it looks more solid, I guess you could say that. Instead of just having it like that. To each their own. <laughs> to each their own. Alright, so now. Um, out of there and how many three um can be this put you there and then I'm going to Yeah, I just complained about having two of those together. Well, at least one of the things you can do cuz you can rotate them and see right here that it forms a triangle right in the middle. I probably should do the over here. I'm not going to worry about that. It's cosmetic stuff. Oh. Okay. So, we are going to move this one or take that out and do this. Put two of these here, but we're going to change the texture of this. to Death Star Floor Great. Okay. Make sure I can fit from there. Yes. Okay, so then over here, the same thing. To there. And I think we're gonna go in half. I think, I think it's going to be like that. Like I said, we can always go back and change it. Alright, so we're, there and we're going to get rid of this. So I'm just going to reuse, or take it out and change it to something else. Remember what I said about I didn't want that to be a tunnel? Well, apparently it's going to be. <laughs> There's no avoiding that because I need a floor up here. Which means... I'm 
changing this back to this. And might as well change this to the same thing. Trying to use as least uh, the least amount of pieces as possible. Right. Select that one. Come on, go down. Still there? No. Now, go to some the uh, light panels. Right here. One there. One in there. One there. Now, this is not, oh, you know what I can do, we have that texture in Simple Toys. You're going to notice this is not exactly what it looked like in the movie. Well, you're absolutely correct. It's not exactly the way it looked in the movie. But, we'll live with it. Alright, so, what this is for is going to be a way up here. So, we need our game maker. Game setup toys and find the path creator tool. Put it in the middle. And then you want this to go all the way right to the top. Right, the J 
adjust the properties on the green part. Change the speed to maybe 33-ish. I don't know. It's up to you. You want to go fast, slow. Then we need a platform. New path connector or connection. Toy box path. Properties. Toy box path. Go under movement style. There's other ways to do this uh, as far as how you want to activate the uh, the path creator. This is just the way I do it. Okay, I select one or reverse one way and stop. So now it's stopped. So now we want I'm just gonna do it as an automatic thing. So when you walk into it, it goes up or down. Which is probably not Yeah, it'll work. Yeah, it'll work. It'll work. Get yourself a trigger area. Connection entered any I think I got it. Reverse. All right, let's see if this works. So now, wait a minute. Oh, I got to bring it up a little bit more. Now you can enter it again. Now, just the scenario, if it's all the way up on top, you can get it to come back down. Just walk in there. And if there's bad guys, <laughs> they can really screw around with it. <laughs> if you're trying to get up there. But most people use somebody that knows the force and can jump really high and the uh, purpose of using the elevator will be uh, gone. <laughs> but still cool nonetheless. Now we need railings. And the railings I use are under the city building set. City, 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 city. Hey, y'all guys that keep asking me about the stadium pieces. Here's stadium pieces once you once you buy them in the toy buy or the toy store.
All right, the reason I didn't extend that all the way over here is because, is because I'm actually doing this. Actually, hmm. I wonder if I should. I'm thinking. This is a tunnel-ish type thing. I'm thinking I should do this. So well, how do you do that? It's red. Hmm. I'm thinking I should do this. Show you all a really a good cool secret. Um, if you've seen my Dagobah, how to make Dagobah. Uh, I've done this in there too, also. Alright, so what you do, select it, and put anything. This works with any any of the terrain pieces. Alright, now you have two pieces down there. Hit undo, and hit undo again. Okay, now you're back to the first one. Now try to set it. It won't set. So, you can still move it, but it won't set. So what you do, keep it where you want it, and then use your D-pad, select something else. All right, now you're out of it. And now it's, it's there, it's glitched. So now, you can put anything in there. Now, at this particular point, see, it doesn't do anything. It's just there. Um, is a is a glitch second one works now at this point if you save your game and reset it or reload it this will not be there so what you do hit your uh, your theme button and re-theme everything. Theme all. See it? You have two of them overlapped. So then, go back and the only thing we gotta do now, every time you do that, all the other textures or uh, decorations are affected by that. So it's the only thing. So keep that in mind. If you have like thousands of decorations um, at at work, do you really want to do you really want to merge pieces or don't you? Another thing that does when you merge them, it gets rid of that lip. If you're gonna, you know, otherwise you would have right there. So let's uh, make our close that uh, corridor in. And 
here. I'm just gonna use. What am I gonna use? for that and then that'll work for that and then theme that door. Look at me, I'm on an elevator. Where'd he go? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool though. Um, R2 and BB-8 for the uh, either Pose or Princess Leia's uh, power. Will trigger, uh, if you have it set to all, they will trigger whatever. Yeah, he just walked underneath it. They will act as uh, just like an NPC. Because actually, they are NPCs. They're you know what they are. They're 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 um, what do you call them? The discs, the team up discs. That's th this the same thing. The um, the boss characters. That's all they are. It's the same thing as the team-up discs that are... You don't have to use a disc for them. That's why. If you put Green Goblin in your... Uh, in your uh, toy box, it'll say something to the fact that... Um, something about um, a fellow... fellow bad guy or something like that. It's like you're his, his teammate or, you know, his buddy. But then he'll attack you. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna do one more, one more thing before we call this an episode, and that's do something in this room. What this is is maintenance. And let me get a door for game maker. Okay, before we go any further, you're going to want to save it. When you're building, especially big things, you're going to want to save it. You're going to want to save often, uh, just in case something happens.
Okay, now that the game is saved, I'm going to go to the door, to the properties, and change the destination to a new toy box, a new interior. It doesn't matter what the name is because I'm, I'm not going to keep it around VBB. I just need it. to do the uh, the hack to bring the interior to the exterior which is stupid that we have to hack it but we do um, usually I wait until the end but sometimes you know you just need visual so here we go Here we are in the toy box, and just real quick, why I do not use the interior uh, Death Star stuff to make a Death Star. Number one, you can't use spaceships in it. Number two, you can't use boss characters. Number three, I don't like the doors. Oh, you can't use path connections and, and uh, the path creator tool and stuff like that. So, let's steam everything to the Death Star. Other than that, I love the theme. I love the walls, the, the trim, the floor. The lighting's cool too, but this lighting... Those lights were not everywhere in the Death Star. Yeah, I'll put a helicarrier lights, doesn't matter. Alright, doors look cool, right? And this is this goes for anything in the interior. Let's say you want that door closed. You have to adjust the properties of the room. And I don't remember if this is A, B, or C, or D. Properties. Let's say it's C. Let's guess. Nope, I was wrong. This one apparently is C. Let's see what it does. Or what it looks like. It's, it looks like a jail cell door. <laughs> Why well, can't the doors look like this? If you're going to close it. I don't know. I just wish it did. Um, if it did look like this, I would use it all the time. Um, I'm not saying I'm not going to use it for anything. I probably will, but I just don't like those doors. That's all. So anyway, back to why we came in here. Go to... Creativity toys or creative toys and get a trigger doesn't matter what kind of trigger well I'm past the trigger so might as well get my time delayer I'm gonna need it and let's find a trigger kill and pressure plate we can use that Okay, so, take your trigger, logic connection, activated, start delay, delay, new logic connection, delay completed, change level. You don't have to adjust the level because automatically it's going to be uh, where you came from. Adjust the... Uh, Time properties. Four or five would be sufficient. Now you don't have to do this part, but it helps. Properties require confirmation. Turn it off. Okay, so. Alright. 
All right, and then make sure you get the ribbon up and just wait. Okay, as we progress, it's going to take longer and longer and longer to open this, uh, <laughs> to load this toy box. But anyway, now, because you open the ribbon right before it loaded, and the other thing, you can time it just right without using the delayer. It's just hard to do it. So that way I don't have to keep going in and going out. All right, so we want to find, in this particular instance, electronics and appliances. Broken toilet in the Death Star. Remember that? No. <laughs> We'll use a lot of these. Speaking of which, now that we're... Now that I have these up... Oh. There's a butt up against the wall. I wish they would fix that. Nope. Well, I, I got something else that I can use for that, but I was hoping I'd be able to use um, these uh, computers. I can't. So, anyway, that's not what the plan was. The plan actually is to use these, the Death Star Control Room Station, which we're going to use them upstairs again. Oh. Actually, it has to go in one more. So, let me just bring two of these out. And... So, I gotta go back in here. Move this wall. And once you select off that, see, you can move it around and, and put it back in. But what you cannot do is if I move the D-pad and selected something else, then I just lost my interior toy and I'd have to go back into the interior and do the whole thing again. So once you bring them out, you can move them, but don't delete them. There we go. And this is like, well, I I don't know if this is droid maintenance or downstairs control. Because when 3PO was in the closet, he says, I'll help their mad. They went to the whatever corridor or they went this way or that way. And then he picks up the comm link later on. And then he goes to leave. And the stormtrooper is like looking at him like, what do you think you're doing? And he says... Oh, all the excitement has got my counterpart riled up. I'm going to take him down to maintenance. So, is this maintenance or a second control? Because he was down here, and R2 is trying to find Luke, and this is the area where he shut down the trash compactor. And they were waiting down here for Luke, Han, and... Leia and Chewie to come back and they actually when they came back they came through this door when they left I think they went this way it doesn't show how they got up stairs but you you know they were upstairs because they looked through the window and they could see the falcon anyway it's just me being a nerd um, alright that's it for this one of the things we can do with this, this top part, let me see. I have Star Lord's Galaxy uh, disc. Yeah. No. Maybe. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I'm changing back to Death Star. Oh yeah. I do need it to be Death Star for the floor. Anyway. That's it for this episode. 88.
You see anything interesting? <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next in the next episode of Bat in the Box. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, smash that like button. And guess what? There's even more. Click on any of these boxes to view more awesome stuff. And don't forget to click that big subscribe button so you can be notified of all my upcoming videos. And again, I want to thank you for watching. This has been Matt Brown Bat signing off. CIAO.